guys, I hope you're well. Today's episode is about Disney boys who have changed a lot. So let's start with Cole Sprouse, who is best known, yes, I know, from Riverdale. But way before that, he played Cody in the hit Disney show, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and The Sweet Life on Deck. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yep, he looks different for sure. Although the goatee photo is probably a joke. Maybe he'll be the next Tony Stark. I don't know. I ain't heard of anything. The biggest change is undoubtedly the hair color. What do you guys think? Is he dyeing his hair? Check out his handsome brother, Dylan. He's much more blonde, but looking at this photo, he's not. Yes, she's surprised too. And fun fact, besides acting, Cole's huge passion is photography. Next, we have Jake Thomas, most famous for playing Matt and Lizzie McGuire. Well, these pics are perfect for comparison. As you see, Lizzie's little brother isn't that little anymore. He has a beard and a trendy haircut that looks great, but completely different. Still, people keep recognizing him in public. You would think that the beard would throw it off. I have no idea how people still recognize me. Neither do I. And a reminder for the fans, they are shooting a reboot of Lizzie McGuire with most of the old cast. I'm headed to my first day of work on Lizzie McGuire. Then, Isaac Presley, who played Ethan Diaz in Stuck in the Middle. As you can see, Isaac has changed a lot in these four short years. He has a new haircut, got a six pack, and his style is, let's just say more bad boyish. I'm pretty impressive. And besides growing up and hanging out with his girlfriend, Ethan is pretty much busy with his music career. He also has a YouTube channel where he shares tips about relationships. Next, Karan Brar, most famous for playing Robbie in Jesse and Bunked. Can you believe he's 21 already? He has come a long way since Jesse. He even grew a goatee. That's the best proof that he's not a kid anymore. Anyways, he looks very handsome. Oh, okay. As for work, fans could watch him lately in the Disney movie, Stargirl, and series, Schooled. You should check it out. But also, I need to pay rent, so please watch. Next, Zac Efron, famous Troy Bolton from High School Musical. Celebrity crush for many girls at the time. Zac is still a very popular actor, so you probably know that he changes his look regularly. Beard, no beard, dying hair, and so on. Only side swept bangs seems to be off limits. Either way, the change is pretty big. He's also more muscular now. And a rare photo with Zach and his brother Dylan. Dylan is also a fitness freak. Then we have another high school musical star, Corbin Blue. He played Chad, Troy's best mate and basketball team member. Yes. Still got it. So the first change you notice is his hair. He cut his brown curls and now has a shorter one. Also, the color changed from brown to black. I wonder how that happened. And of course, Corbin's style is now more elegant. The new look suits him very well, in my opinion. I guess fans will be missing the curls, though. And a few words about his career. He still acts, though mostly on Broadway musicals. He also appeared recently on CW's Supergirl. <laughs> Next, Corey Fogelmanis, who played Farkle in Girl Meets World. Hmm, what can I say? He looks great. His character was pretty awkward with girls. I think in real life, Corey might be just fine. Did you notice that most Disney boys had bangs when they were on the Disney Channel? <laughs> that's probably their requirement. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Anyways, Corey continues his acting career. His biggest role so far was in the horror movie, Ma. Woo! Okay guys, a short reminder. You can check out our merch on our Teespring store. We have a lot of cute and funny designs. Links in the cards and in the video description. Thanks for the support. Now, our next Disney boy is Tenzing Norgay Trainer. He played Parker in Liv and Maddie. Yes, also a huge difference. He was so little in the first season. You know what? It'd be funny to compare his voice. So let's do it. 
I hadn't seen Joey this excited since we got our pet hamster. I'm so excited to give these personalized videos for you guys, so if you want one... Nice. That's a really significant change. I was four! Let it go! <laughs> and fun fact, if you watch the Liv and Maddie video, you already know that Tenzing is a big superhero fan. His most favorite show is The Flash on CW. I love that show. Then we have Kenton Duty, best known as Gunther from Shake It Up. Yep, he's an older person now. <laughs> Just kidding. He has his whole life ahead of him. He even got married recently. Anyways, he has a beard and long hair, so the change is massive. I wonder if people still recognize him. You know, whatever, man. <laughs> also, Kenton is on Cameo, the website where people can buy shout outs from celebrities. You want me to say happy birthday or sing happy birthday or there's a cover you've just been dying to hear? Let me know. I want to hear it. I want to sing it for you. You know what? I'm good. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Next, we have Blake Michael, who played Tyler in Dog with a Blog. Well, he has shorter hair now. He's more ripped and masculine, but the biggest change is when he grows a beard. Still a very good looking guy. It's getting pretty hot in here. That's because you're leaning on the grill. Oh. <laughs> you can also find him on Cameo. As for work, he was in two movies since the show, so he didn't work that much. If you wonder what he's saying, he's explaining how to make a perfect push-up. Now go do some push-ups the right way. And fun fact, his huge passion is motorcycles. <laughs> then we have Tyrell Jackson Williams, best known as Leo from Lab Rats. Yes, he's changed a lot for sure. I wouldn't guess though that he's already 23. Time flies. I think this new hairstyle makes a huge difference in his looks. Anyways, Tyrell still acts. You can watch him on the comedy series Brockmire. Also, cool news, he's a rapper and he released his first single recently. Just type on YouTube, TJW Powerball. You will be surprised how low his voice is. <gasps> he's a witch! <laughs> Next, Moises Arias. You might remember him as Rico from Hannah Montana. Again, a big transformation. He lost his bangs and grew a mustache and remembered his workout routine. So Moises still stars in a few movies every year and he is also an artist, a photographer. Life just doesn't get any better than this. We know that that was his main pursuit for the last few years. I think it's Kendall and that's Jaden. And now, a few words about his younger brother, Mateo Arias. Mateo is also a Disney star. He played Jerry in Kickin' It. <laughs> yep, his transformation is also spectacular. Long hair, beard. People will always write that he looks like Jesus. And well, you can't argue with that. Anyways, Mateo is building his music career. He already released a few singles. As for acting, his latest movie is Blast Beat, where he stars alongside his brother. Then we have the boys from Sunny with a Chance. I don't know if you remember this show, but Demi Lovato was the main star in it. So first goes Sterling Knight, who played her love interest named Chad. As you see, he's changed a lot, especially when he has this lumberjack beard. I doubt anyone could recognize him with it. You may not recognize me because I have this sweet beard. Recently, Disney organized an online reunion for Disney actors. What has everybody been up to since the show? Everybody all at Tiffany, once, go. What have you been doing? <laughs> Rehab, <laughs> several times. <laughs> Sterling was there, but with a shaved face, so he probably looks now more like his old self. Still, the change is pretty big. I think I made my point. Good. Good. Fine. Fine. Good. Whoa. <laughs> and that's his sister, Scarlet Knight. Cool name. And one more guy from Sunny with a Chance who went through a major transformation. I mean, Douglas Brochu, who played Grady. Yeah, that's a huge difference. He changed hairstyle, lost a lot of weight, wears glasses now. He's totally unrecognizable. And here he is with his girlfriend, Caroline. As for work, he was in a few smaller movies over the years. He also produced one short movie called The Hermit. And that's all we know, guys. What a freak show, am I right? 
Next, we have Ethan Wacker, who played Bernie in Bizarre Bark. Okay, in this case, it's only four years, but you have to admit, he has grown up a lot. The biggest difference is in his physique. Ethan took his workouts very seriously, and the result is really impressive. Obviously, this is gonna be challenging for some people, but workouts are not meant to be easy. You're gonna be uncomfortable. Surely he looks great, but what else has he been up to? Well, Ethan hasn't acted since the show, but he announced recently that he will be attending Vanderbilt University. Congratulations. I gotta go, bye. Everyone likes me, I'm so cool. I'm <laughs> He's so sweet. I mean, can we marry him? No. And last but not least, Josie Toda, AKA Stuart Wooten from Jesse. So it's no surprise, Josie is the most changed star on our list. Did you see that coming? If we compare the looks, the difference is huge. From a young boy to a hot girl. LOL, <laughs> OMG. I was wondering though, should she be on the girls list or the boys list? Now she's a transgender woman, but when she was on Disney, she was a boy. So after all, we decided to place her here. <laughs> and a word about work. Josie's most recent project is the comedy series, Saved by the Bell. Ring a bell? <laughs> okay guys, that's all for now. We will see you in the next episode. Meanwhile, thanks for watching and bye-bye.